the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie scheduled to be released in about a week's time and internationally released next month, we finally have a confirmation courtesy of Herms98 on Twitter on the power of Gogeta in comparison to Vegito in Dragon Ball Super. Courtesy of Shonen Jump, we have a better understanding as to what is to be expected from Vegito and Gogeta, especially when looking at what both fusions have to offer. Now, according to Herms, the following translations for the Shonen Jump magazine goes as follows. Popular characters from the Dragon Ball world are added to the canon by Akira Toriyama Sensei's hand. If Vegito is born from the Potara, then Fusion gives birth to Gogeta. Two equally matched ultimate trump cards. What's more, in this movie, Gogeta transforms into Super Saiyan and even Super Saiyan Blue. Go to the theater to experience this stupendous power for yourselves. By the way, Gogeta doesn't appear in the original Dragon Ball manga. Like Broly, he is a movie-only character. In other words, original author Toriyama Sensei's rewriting is an attempt to add Broly and Gogeta to the Dragon Ball canon. So in fact, this is true, they are indeed included in the Dragon Ball canon now for the main continuity of Super and Dragon Ball as a whole. Now, in terms of Vegito and Gogeta, it is emphasized now that Gogeta and Vegito are both Goku and Vegeta's trump cards when used in battle, which ultimately implies here that Vegito and Gogeta are equally matched warriors, which, let's keep in mind, the Metamoris fusion does have a timer that lasts 30 minutes, whereas the Potara, after its retcon, lasts one hour. So even then, when having to look at the time factor for Gogeta and Vegito, it's no longer implied that one is superior over the other, but more or less looked at now as equally matched warriors, even if both of their fusions are relatively different. So despite the Potara fusion, Fusion, despite the Metamorese fusion, it is implied that Gogeta in this movie is equal to Vegito, just as Vegito is equal to Gogeta. Again, a lot of you guys may agree or disagree with this notion, but it is heavily implied that now Gogeta and Vegito are equals and will always be seen as equals because they are Goku and Vegeta's ultimate trump cards, despite which fusion they use. So, whether that be the Potara earrings or whether that be the Metamorese finger fusion, it doesn't matter anymore, it's implied in the weekly jump that both warriors are seemingly enough equal. Now this wasn't always the case back in the day when people made the argument about the Potaras having to be stronger than the Metamoris fusion. It is implied in this movie that perhaps Gogeta does have a bit more leeway than the actual Potara earrings because if we go back and we look at Vegito's debut, it was implied by Gowasu and the Kaioshin in both the manga and the anime that Vegito was too powerful for his own good. He was too strong for the Potaras to even maintain, for them to maintain that fusion. So whether or not you want to look at that and take that as a definitive statement in having to imply that Vegito could nudge out Gogeta when it comes down to feats alone, it's really weird in the way they're handling this now, but they're basically getting rid of the debate of who's stronger or at least who's better, which fusion type is better between Gogeta and Vegito, as they're basically making the assumption here and implying that both of them going forward are going to be equal in their own respects. Now realistically, I really do think that they're implying the notion if Vegito existed in this movie as well because Goku and Vegeta have grown significantly stronger ever since the Goku Black arc up until this very current point in time now. So going forward, realistically, it doesn't make any sense in having Gogeta be equal to the Vegito that we saw during that era as opposed to what would happen if Vegito existed now. So I'm only guessing here that there they're implying the hypothetical if Gogeta and Vegito existed in the same place in the same time right now, for example, Gogeta Blue and Vegito Blue in the Broly movie, then seemingly enough they would be equal and they would be looked at just as that, being on par with one another and not having one be superior over the other. As for me, I definitely have a bias for one character over the other. I do think that there is one fusion that is stronger over the other, but then again, that's just my personal opinion. But in the end, I would like to get you your thoughts in the comment section below. Which fusion do you personally think is stronger? Which fusion do you guys prefer over the other more? And let's say as a hypothetical, if Vegito and Gogeta Blue existed in the same place at the same time, who do you guys favor and why? And what are your thoughts on the idea that if both of these fusions existed in the same place at the same time, 
that they would be equal and that neither would be inferior over the other nor superior than the respective fusion that Goku and Vegeta achieve by either using the Potaras or the Metamarese Finger Fusion. Let me know your thoughts down below guys, thank you all so much for watching once more if you guys are new, hit that subscribe button guys, slap a like down below, tune back in, and I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below. Have a great day everybody, peace! This is the Galactic Emperor of the Universe, and of course I'm here to tell you to subscribe to Unrelent Gaming and all his social media platforms. Also don't forget to turn on notifications so you can be the first to know every time that he uploads a new video. Oh, did someone say Unrelent Gaming? Oh my god! The fuck, Zobon? Put on some clothes! Well, why don't you put on any clothes? What? I don't need clothes! Jesus Christ, that's huge! <laughs>